Hello. I've just started doing a series of videos called the 30 day song challenge, where I'll be sharing and talking about a different song every day. Uh, and I thought I might do the same thing for films and maybe books too. Um, and day one of this film challenge is to talk about a film that is set in your hometown. To talk about a film that's set in your hometown. Now, I am from a very small village in Scotland. I doubt there are any films that are set in Clovenforts. I'll show you on the map so you have an idea. Maybe there is a film set in Clovenfords, I don't know. Uh, or maybe one day there will be. Anyway, but I've also lived and worked and studied in Edinburgh for a long time. And so it's really a second home for me. And there are lots of films set in Edinburgh. Um, some examples might be Train Spotting, um, Sunshine on Leith, The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, which actually I haven't seen, but I've read the book and I love it. Um, oh, now I can't think of any more, but there are lots. Anyway, but the one that I want to talk about today is maybe not as well known, um, but it's really beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. And so I wanted to share some of the pictures from the IMDb website and uh, we'll use that to talk a bit more about what the film is about. So, the film is called The Illusionist. And it's by French director Sylvain Chaumet, and it's based on a screenplay by Jacques Tati. It's set in 1959, and the story is about a French illusionist who's struggling to find work. And so he decides to leave France and head to London. Now, unfortunately for him, the swinging 60s are just around the corner, and the crowds want rock and roll. They don't want to see illusions anymore. And so he goes to Scotland where he meets a young girl who believes he really is doing magic. Her naive belief in the power of magic contrasts in a really poignant way with the harsh reality of his struggle to survive. And as I say, this film might make you cry. It's very sad. It's very depressing and bleak and melancholy, but it's also beautiful. And as you can see from the pictures, it gives you a stunning visual impression of what Edinburgh is like. Well, I hope you liked the pictures, and if you get a chance to watch this film, I really recommend it. Um, and I'd love to hear some suggestions about films that are set in your hometown. Now, I'll see you soon for day two. I can't remember what day two's challenge is, but we'll find out soon. Bye-bye.